There have been more disagreements between parties during deliberations on the Basic Education Laws Amendment Bill. MPs were debating the contentious Bella Bill, which focuses on regulating the powers of school governing bodies and their language as well as admission policies. The bill is one of several before Parliament and proposes changes to the South African Schools Act and Employment of Educators Act. Baba Londenze takes a look. The regulation of school admission policies was one of the most contentious clauses during the provincial public hearings where the public expressed themselves either for or against. The AMP backs note that says the clause gives the state power over admissions. The HOD is being required to approve um, every SGB admission policy which will be extensive and, and I think we know already the administrative burdens that exist. But the EFF's Mzwane Lemanyu welcomed the clause. We know of the various racist SGBs that are out there that are making it difficult for our children to act, even if we live in the same area. The department says the clause on admissions will ensure that the voice of those affected by exclusionary policies is heard and also allows for appeals. Baba Londenze, Eyewitness News. And the health department has urged South Africans not to panic following the first case of the new COVID-19 subvariant in Gauteng. The World Health Organization is monitoring the strain called EG.5 for errors. It accounts for a growing share of cases in countries including China and the United States. The WHO has designated it a variant of interest, meaning it will be monitored for mutations that could make it more severe. On the weather front, a fine day in store for Houteng tomorrow. Joburg dropping to an overnight lower of 7 degrees, peaking at 22 Pretoria 8 and 24, Vereniging 4 also reaching a high of 22. Lerato Huffler, Eyewitness News. Eyewitness News on 947. For more, click ewn.co.za. You may begin to feel anxious or excited. Honest, deliberate, engaging, uncensored. High dosage administration can cause adverse reactions. And most importantly, independent in mind and execution. This is a normal response. Are you ready? We're our sports worldwide. The referee puts the whistle to our mouth. And England for the first time in their history. Our women's World Cup finalists. The European champions will face Spain in the World Cup final. We look at results, Robert. Ambition sometimes helps but kills people. People think they are there and yet it's what they think and assume. Pirate, still a baby, still growing to reach the level of Sundowns. They are also in the same world as Steve Compel. And Rob, uh, I think uh, my team has achieved, must consider uh, changing the name uh, to uh, Sold Out uh, FC because everywhere we go, uh, it's a sold out uh, affair. Our, I, this, Southern, this uh, Saudi Arabian uh, uh, billionaires, I, 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 Marawa, live on 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Sowetan Live. Hashtag MSW. Wednesday nights, soccer nights, your nights. Attempt finding Russo, brought it down beautifully, and here's the chance driven into the net. Ella Toon for England. Take the lead. But Russo has her pocket picked. And here's Sam Kerr. She's going to need some support. Kerr running at Bright. Kerr with a shot. Oh, I say that's incredible. There is no sports person in Australia, male or female, to top Sam Kerr. But 
have England here. England, oh, it's in! Australia have made a hash of it, and Lauren Hem has put England back in front. It was there to be dealt with, and Australia didn't. Looking like the match winner at the moment, Lauren Hemp has got away from Gorey and plays it through to Russo. And Russo puts England into the World Cup final. As simple as that. Alessia Russo for England. And there will be no Matilda's miracle now. There isn't time. Australia won. England three. The referee puts the whistle to our mouth. And England for the first time in their history. Yeah, that's been the story of the day. The story of the world. I can safely tell you that England have reached the Women's World Cup final for the very, very, very first time. Well, they spoiled the co-host Australia's party, didn't they? Historic evening in Sydney. Well, our time you're watching right about lunchtime today where you saw the Matildas. Hey, no waltzing anymore. The kind of silence that sellout crowd at the Stadium Australia with the 3-1 victory. Lionesses becoming the very first England football team since back in 1966 to reach a senior final on the world stage. And yeah, we do congratulate them. Not an easy one to stomach for Australia, you could tell. I mean, there were just tears of joy, tears of sadness at the end of it. And there's been lots of reaction, especially from down here in the south. Hi, Robert. It's A.B. Molloy from Naturena. What a game of semi-finals between England and Australia today. You can see that uh, those girls are playing at the top, top leagues by their football brilliant and the way they they play their football. It shows that the professional leagues, uh, it does uh, make an impact. So it's important for our country as well to export or to have a, a professional league for, for the girls. Thank you very much. I can hardly describe how proud I am of the team because how this team has, yeah, has, has been adapted all the time uh, before the tournament, uh, then during the tournament and now in this game again, how we come through and find a way to win again is so incredible. So I'm really proud of them. Sam Kerr, of course, the way she finished, it, she finished that ball was incredible. Uh, after that, we did have a couple of mims we really had to go through because, of course, then the crowd comes, makes even more noise and there comes energy, extra energy. I thought we did that really well, but I think we have done that really well the whole tournament so far. Um, and then, of course, really nice that pretty didn't take that long before we scored the second goal. And that helps, of course, when you score a second goal. When she comes close in, in, in the in the eighteen yard box, she's dangerous, um, and she showed that today. She's shown that before too. But the last game, she she really got the ball in the back of the net, and that's very important, especially on this stage. I think she also grew in this tournament, just like our whole team. And when the whole team does better and and grows, then of course every player is going to play better too. So that I think that that works, that goes together. Yeah, very, very proud indeed. Serena Wingman says that uh, she was very proud of her England side, uh, which won and obviously advancing to the maiden World Cup final. Also admitting that it feels really good to reach a second successive major final, having led her side to the title at last year's European Champions. Now, when you talk about the European Championship, you're talking about major achievement. And yeah, congratulations. Beautiful football to watch, especially uh, what we saw earlier on today. I've got a very important guest, uh, somebody who's so used to cup finals, it probably became extremely boring for him to be in one. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Cape Town Spurs coach uh, Sean Bartlett, my guest here tonight. Uh, but regarding VAR, what's your take? Yesterday was, uh, you know, evidence that VAR not even working in, in the UK at the moment because uh, even with the, uh, you know, computers, the human error is still very, very much possible. So I don't know how much uh, it will actually eliminate because end of the day, if you get a decision wrong, even with VAR, it still doesn't give the opponent or the team the points that uh, they lost. So I'm, I'm, I'm not really keen on that. Uh, you know, when you score a goal, you celebrate, and two seconds later, you've almost got to retract that emotion and uh, stay calm again. Yeah, I think we're on the same side with that one. I think from day one, uh, Vol has publicly shared that I'm not a big fan of VAR. 
Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Well, at this hour, if you're a big Manchester United fan, I can tell you that Sky Sports News reporting that they are within maybe hours of reaching a decision on Mason Greenwood. They're going to be making a decision based on him. Remember the court case that was ongoing uh, for a while. A judgment was made, uh, but a judgment on the footballing side has still not been made. But they are reporting as we speak that a decision may be pending up until we go off air. So we'll keep you up to date with that particular one indeed. Sure. Well, no decision about my guest here, and very few players have had such an illustrious career as this man. An absolute beast in front of goal. Uh, somebody who's actually thrilled many of us for so, so long. The reminders of how many years has been a professional footballer, you'll be shocked. Was If you looked at him now, it looks like somebody who's just uh, going for trial and is just about to begin his career. But as a human being, even better so, man. And such a and such kind of characters and careers, I mean, it's only fair that they are documented. And for all of us to relive some of the good memories many years down the line. And also for the younger generation that's yet to watch him in action. Well, I guess he's captured the lows as well as the highs in his very successful career. It's all documented in the book. If you don't read, you better read this one. Uh, I mean, still going very strong. If you watch his games, an absolute professional Bernard Parker pleasure as always the haunt welcome to the show good to see you thanks rob thanks for having me it's good to see you too it's been long i know now <laughs> you come back not only as a football player but as an author how's yeah. that a feeling how does that go down i mean is it still something you pinch yourself and say finally you were able to be and do what you wanted to do which is to document your life in a book yes definitely uh rob uh, i'm back not only as a, a, a footballer yeah not only as an author but both <laughs> but how do you how do you As manage both. that? Eh? Uh, you know the, the 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 journey started last year. Yeah, you know um, a good uh, mentor uh, of mine, life coach of mine, Dr. Charlie Peterson, yeah. who is actually the author of the book, came to me and he said to me, you know, what you have done in the football fraternity, it's amazing. Yeah, you you, you got to understand, you got to realize what you have done. It's it's really incredible, and you need to put this into a book people need to see what you went through mm -hmm. what you are going through and what you want to do in the future and then we started we started it off and then slowly by slowly by surely it became it became more serious to me mm. and when it got to more serious with me um, then it actually also lifted me uh, 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 in a motivational way yeah, both yeah. about both emotionally and, 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 and mentally. And um, the book is truly through ins inspiration. And um, I, said, um, I said to myself, and Mr. Charlie Peterson says, said to me, I said to him, no, man, I'll, I'll, the book should be released when I retire. He said, no, right. while, you st while you're still playing, you know, mm. people need to see while you're still playing what it takes for you to be, to, to what you've done and yeah. what you're still doing. So finally, the book is here. And you're still playing. And I'm still playing. The beauty about that is that you don't get to talk about your life as some old man now who maybe is looking for sympathy and saying, I'm going to use the book uh, to make sales and probably to make money. You're saying, I'm a living example of what I've written down. Do you feel that? Uh, even now, when you wake up in the morning, you go for training, when you yeah. apply yourself during match day? Definitely. You know... Um I've just started a foundation, you know, yes. the Bernard Parker Foundation. So I said to myself, you know, this this book is a is 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 a is a great way um, to to get sales from the book. is a great way to to boost the foundation, because what I want to do with the foundation is knowing to to inspire mm -hmm. the next boy child or the girl child and make sure that um, through through um, through the knowledge that 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 that. That, that they get or, 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 or what the team is going to impart into mm. them. It will actually uh, give them inspiration, you know. And but who hope. inspired you? I'm sorry, I'm going to keep cutting in because <laughs> you're a very generous person yes, at sir. heart. Mm -hmm. And that already comes out in terms of your foundation. Yeah. But there was nobody, there was no foundation to say to you as a kid growing up in the poverty that you grew up in that I'm going to make your life different. So who inspired Bernard Parker in the same way that you want to inspire another kid? Um, first, first inspiration came um, 
from watching uh, soccer. Yeah. You know, Benny McCarthy, you sure. know, um, scoring goals, mm. scoring goals left and right, F gone. Um, if I can remember uh, Burkina Faso, yes. you know, that's where the, the true inspiration came. Wagadugu. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then, you know, the help of the community. The help of the community, the community played a big part. You know, um, my teacher at school, mm. um, uh, fam family, family friends, uh, um, friends of mine where I had to even go and stay over at, at their houses, you know, they played a big part. And they, they saw the human, the human, uh, uh, the person in me, mm. the, the human first before they could see, uh, uh, before they could realize what, what I was going to become. So um, through support and, 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 and that, I think I, 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 got to, I got to understand that, you know, life, life is, there, there is life out there, you know, no matter, no matter circumstances, no matter the obstacles, no matter the, the way of life that I have now. Um, there is life out there and dreams can be achieved. Yeah. Somebody is driving right now, listening to the show, and has no idea of a Bernard Parker background of where he grew up. Mm -hmm. Paint a picture. Paint a very, very graphic picture of you growing up in your younger days. Name the area and what was in those surroundings. Growing up in a township. Yeah. Um, in the back of in the back of the yard, uh, in a shack in the back of, of the yard of 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 of, of somebody's uh, premises. Later got kicked got kicked out. Then went to your real informal settlement now, where a good friend of my mom gave us a, a space, right. just a one room shack space, one room shack, but there's no window, just a door. Wow. Only a bed could fit and a hot drop. And um, the three of us. You know, it was tough. And then I was ashamed. I was ashamed because it, it was better circumstances mm. where, where I came from, which, which was in the, in the township. Mm. At least I, I could have friends around. I could stay over their houses and, and things like that. So I still went back and stayed back by my friends' houses, sleep over there now yeah. and then. And then my mom uh, said to me, my son, you can go wherever you want to go as long as you're safe because I want the best for you. And through her support and her belief, um, Robert, a short story I also want, want to tell you. Yeah. Um, I love soccer so much. I, we, we, my mom could only afford a pair of school shoes for me and a pair of uh, church shoes. So then I kicked my shoes open at, at, at school in first term because of soccer. Then I had to go to school with my, with my church shoes. Church shoes also now finish. Yeah. I had to go to school barefoot. And then my mom said to me, I'm going to save up some money. And then this is the last, this is, this is, you, you can't go to school barefoot. You know, I'm going to save up some money and you, and you can yeah. get a pair of shoes, school shoes. And then here comes Mr. Bezaira note, our, our, our teacher at, at school and he said to me, you know, there's trials coming up. I want to take you for trials, but now you don't have soccer boots. Mm -hmm. I told my mom, my mom said to me, you decide, what do you want? Because I only saved up so much. You want money or you, you want the, the school shoes or the soccer boots? And I said, mom, you know, I'll take the school shoes because, you know, winter's going to come up. It's going to be cold. Yeah. She says, my son, let's go buy soccer boots. Let's go to town. And we went to Jet jet stores to go yes. buy the, the, the shoes back then, the, the, the soccer boots. Yeah. So my mom could see that I was going to become a professional football before I could see it and I could realize it, the same as, as, as my teacher. But that's a mother's instinct because she could tell that you were trying to please her, not trying to say what you wanted to say. You wanted to please her because you knew okay. how important school was for a parent. Yeah, true. And, and so, but she looked through you and said, no. Yeah. Let's and go for the soccer boots. Go for the soccer boots. And that blessing that she, she blessed me with, mm. I made a trial at the School of Excellence. Wow. Mm. First time. First time. The School of Excellence. The Transnet School of Excellence. There by Kempton Park yep. area. Correct. There where the Stephen Pinars of this world emerged. Yes. The Dane Clates of this world. Yes. I can go on and on and on. That is and where you, your first trials 
with these boots that mom had opted to go buy instead of the school shoes, mm. you made it. I made it. We pick up on the story when you come back from the break. As I said, dynamic. The haunt is here. The haunt is here. The haunt is here. I'm going Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. ESCOM understands that electricity is an integral part of running a business. However, electricity demand is currently higher than supply and energy efficiency is critical. Businesses are encouraged to reduce consumption between 7 a.m. and 6 p.m. by not leaving electrical equipment on standby mode, as well as turning off unnecessary lighting. We can reduce load shedding by working together. Every kilowatt counts. Are you tired of being boxed in by boring entertainment? Then pick a better box, babe. Pick a better box. Do you long for something more exciting, more unexpected, more outside the box? Then pick our box of entertainment. This is no ordinary box. It's the box that stays switched on. With no monthly payment, break out of that other expensive boring box and get into ours. Stay switched on with Open View. It's a box full of surprises. <laughs> Open View. It's for everyone. Hollywood Bets is giving you an opportunity to win one of five luxury trips to Bali. Bet 10 Rand or more on Jet X for a chance to win an incredible trip or a share of 150,000 Rand. Hollywood Bets. Why fly when you can jet off? Supply. Hollywood Sportsbook is a licensed betting operator. Hollywood Bet supports responsible gambling. No persons under the age of 18 years are permitted to gamble. Winners know when to stop. South African Responsible Gambling Foundation toll-free counseling line 0800-006-008 or WhatsApp help to 076-675-0710. Doing my accounts is a bit like a time sponge. It's really time consuming. Anything that can help me and make my life easier. Give me five more minutes to spend with my daughter or get together with friends earlier on a Friday night, I will honestly take it. Sage Tools helps small business owners have more time for those precious little moments. Sage, helping business flow. Visit sage.com today. Say goodbye to load shedding with SA's biggest solar giveaway on 6060. We're on stage six, solars are fixed. Let's call 6060. Power up your savings, feed your cravings. Let's call 6060. Supercharged deals delivered on two wheels. Let's call 6060. Save an hour, win solar power. Let's call 6060. Buy participating products for a chance to win a solar system worth 100,000 rand. Let's call 6060. Have you seen our upgraded currency with enhanced security features? Identifying a genuine banknote is easy. Just look, feel and tilt. Hold the banknote against the light and look for the big five watermark unique to each denomination. Feel the race print on Madiba's portrait and tilt to see the security thread change color. For more, download the SA Reserve Bank Currency app and spend your money with confidence. Our money, our pride. SA Reserve Bank, connecting us. Previously on Marawa Sports Worldwide. Cape Town Spurs coach uh, Sean Bartlett, my guest here tonight. Uh, but regarding VAR, what's your take? Yesterday there was uh, you know, evidence that VAR not even working in, in the UK at the moment because uh, even with the uh, you know, computers, the human error is still very, very much possible. So I don't know how much uh, it will actually eliminate because end of the day, if you get a decision wrong even with VAR, it still doesn't give the opponent or the team the points that uh, they lost. So I'm, I'm, I'm not really keen on that. But, you know, when you score a goal, you celebrate, and two seconds later, you've almost got to retract that emotion and uh, stay calm again. Yeah, I think we're on the same side with that one. I think from day one, of uh, Volley's publicly shared that I'm not a big fan of VAR. Hashtag MSW. Hashtag MSW. Wednesday nights. Soccer nights. Your nights. Ah, they won't, they won't, Penal Paka, Penal Paka coming here, Penal Paka scores. Yeah, they won't, they won't scores. Ah, Mr. Penal Paka. <laughs> Evening to you, Baba. Penal Paka, you've been, you've been so good to us. I'm a Kaiser Chiefs fan. You, the way you were handling yourself, the way you were doing things, go Kaiser Chiefs, I think it was really unbelievable. 
saw Marvel to watch. Uh, I so wish uh, after you hang up your boots, you can uh, come back on a churena and you still have home there. Sektanda Kul Penat Park, a compliment to you and compliment to your new book, which you've managed to release. Yeah, yeah, good luck with your future endeavor, bro. If you are on coaching, just please come back or pay fee, bro. <laughs> I'm sure Bernard Parker gets a lot of those, don't you, hey? A lot, a lot. In the malls, everywhere, petrol garages, I get a lot. So um, it actually, it actually, it's heartwarming that, that I still get such. Mm. But you, you're not surprised, are you? Not surprised at all because um, fans, fans follow football. Yeah. They follow football passionately, wholeheartedly. And fans see what, what you contribute and I think I contributed immensely to the game and also left some left some prints, history prints. So Especially at Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. I mean sixty goals and three hundred and sixty three appearances in ten years that you were there. I mean pff, come on. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> but you, you can't even argue with that. <laughs> I can't even argue with it, you know. No no one has done it, you know. Um I think in, in two generations or, or three generations, I, yeah. I would say, you know that um, that 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 they've that they have left some something uh, uh, um, that they've made something yeah. of themselves at the club uh, while donning the jersey. You know, these days also, as there's there's there, there's people that say they they legends, but um, they've only been uh, at clubs for for three years, so. Um, um, if if you were to say to us tonight you're retiring, you would be a legend. You wouldn't be a former player. The other people who claim to be, they are not. They are former players, and and sometimes we have to just accept these things and accept where we are in the world. Uh, definitely, you just have to accept. What I will accept is I wouldn't say it, but I yeah. if people say it, I'll accept it. Yeah, mm. Bafana, Bafana. I'm sure you remember how many caps you've got. Yeah, if you. Go back to your 20 days, you'd remember what impact you made. Um, yeah, so it's not just it's not just football mm -hmm. domestically. It is football internationally. Internationally, Robert. Yeah. You know, being part of 20, um, 20 golden generation, yeah. winning the league uh, in the club's history. First time in the club's history winning the league. And it's the only time the club won the league in that time in over their 50 years in existence going of the golden generation members won the super cup uh, mm -hmm. beating ajax the likes of luis suarez is then in their team beating them at their home in the super cup later on um playing champions league later on the year after playing europa league mm -hmm. you know coming home here yeah, for, for bafana bafana uh, fifa confederations cup banging goals being part of the world cup you know, still banging goals uh, after the World Cup. And I became the, the third highest goal scorer uh, in Bafana Bafana uh, history. I think um, if, if, if I would have still gotten got, got call-ups, you know, I would have, I would have easily surpassed uh, Benny McCarthy's record. You know, I would personally say that because I believe I could do it. I'm a man of, so I'm a man of belief and, I'm a, and I believe I could have done it. Mm. And, um, uh, it's football. So within football, you do your best. Whatever comes your way, you do your best day in, day out. But do you believe you were given a fair shot, though, at Bafana Bafana? Do you believe that you could have earned more caps? Uh, definitely so. Definitely so. I believe I could have earned more caps. Um, reason, why, reason why is because of, because of my experience. My experience... Uh, um, um, did I, even though yeah, I um, uh, sometimes um, didn't get, uh, I don't get game time while sure. I'm while I, while I'm in camp or so. But I think just of my experience and just of my my presence, I think it, it would have also um, made a difference or made an impact in in the next player's life. I'm I'm gonna pick up on what uh, Dr. Kaizam Dawung said. Um, obviously, that is lifted from your book. Mm -hmm. um, your boss for 11 years at Kaiser Chiefs. Um, he says, and I quote, that he is a multi-award winner, uh, but his accolades have not gone to his head. He stayed humble and remained a true professional, never absconding or taking liberties as a result of his superstar status. In fact, the more he was recognized, the harder he worked and the better he became. That is Bernard Parker. Full stop. You'll never hear him speak of his personal achievements. 
but the end book does illustrate to all of us some of the awards that he received during his illustrious career. It speaks for itself, end quote. And that is what Kaiser Mdawung, not anybody else, Kaiser Mdawung, the man behind Kaiser Chiefs, says about you. You might have read it many times because it's part of your book, but when you hear it now being an acknowledgement of you, how does that sound? Rob, you know, when when I first read it, yeah, it's so much emotions come going through the body, you know, and and I kept reading it and reading, reading. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe that is describing you. That is describing me, and. Why did I hear those words when I was still here, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Maybe the big head would have been there. Then I would, would have been like, his oh. office for him every day, you know? <laughs> you know, with, with, with so much appreciation that that that, 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 is, that is described there, you know? And even when, when I sat with, with, with the great man himself, you yeah. know, he, he said to me, he said to me, no, he, he really uh, want to commend me for what I've, what I've, he's truly grateful for, for, for my time there. And... Um, we, we we had a great chat. So yeah. um, and the father figure he is, the father figure person he is, you know, for for everybody at the village, it's it's it's, um, it's indescribable. Mm. It's it's more it's more than love. It's crazy, and the um, the um, the uh, the way the way that that he has changed my life, mm. he has changed uh, the lives of my family as well and my uh, and my friends. You know, it, it's it's so crazy of of of, of how contagious his his his, his love is. Um, hence, um, um, he lives by the slogan "Love and Peace." Sure, love and peace is what this conversation is all about. No war, trust me. Uh, the title of the book, "From a Shack to Destiny," Bernard Parker, the haunts player, legend, as well as leader. A couple of questions coming through on voice notes. Good evening, Mr. Rob. It's Hulu Falang here. And good evening to the MSW Shelders. And good evening to Mr. Bernard Parker over there. Oh, man. Um, I may be a follower of the Buccaneers, but uh, looking at what this man has done for the clubs that he's played for, the notable ones being um, Kaiser Chiefs. And uh, right now with the TS Galaxy, you can see that this is a striker personified, top striker at that. Uh, very clinical on a good day, very deadly in front of goal. You would have a nightmare of a game if you are a goalkeeper facing Bernard Parker. That's just how good he is. That's just how incredible he is. And I would like to congratulate him on his book. Uh, I would actually want to find out with regards to his book. Has it been released? Uh, and if so, which are the bookstores that will uh, sell his book? That is what I want to find out. Yeah. Hula Falang, thank you so much indeed. The book is out, right? The book is out. Yes. Physically. Physically, the book is out. And building up to the launch, which will be on the seventh of seventh uh, of September, during the FIFA break, it's on a Thursday, mm -hmm. and it will be at Okurleni, uh, uh, where I come from, uh, Boxburg, Birchut Hotel. Um, for those who don't know, it's just five minutes from the airport. <laughs> that's for the international people. <laughs> yeah, Birchut, that's where some yeah. uh, mm. politicians have been having conferences these days. So <laughs> we won't mention which political party, but yeah, it's been sprayed there. <laughs> Um, yeah, but maybe let's say with, with colors similar to Bloemfontein Celtic uh, colors. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the man who's been able to author your book uh, has slid into the studio, uh, Charlie Peterson. I heard him call you Doc, so uh, maybe I missed the graduation. Dr. Charlie Peterson, good to see you. Welcome to the show. Hey, Robert, man. This is a reunion of Robert Marawa and Charlie Peterson, you know. <laughs> <laughs> good to see you, man. Thank you, mm. Rob. The same here. I actually wanted to come and argue. I said, hey, man, all <laughs> protocol observe. <laughs> no, we do, we do virtual hugs here, so don't worry. <laughs> All thank, the you, love. Robbie. Pwah, pwah, thank you, Robbie. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Robbie. Good to see you, and congratulations, man. Now, <laughs> I you. mean, Bernard was, was describing, as you were listening, mm. um, on the other side, that it, it took a little bit of convincing mm. for him. He wanted to make this his old age project, and you said, no, no way. No way. Let's do it right now. Why, why were you this convinced, though? R Rob, uh, this young man is a role model, ne? Yeah. very humble. <clears throat> Sorry, when I, when I approached him, I said, uh, Bernard, I know you're very humble. Yeah. But this is not about humbleness. It's about your legacy. And the way you can keep your legacy because Madiba is gone. Yeah. So we need to go and see the le 
legends like Bernard Parker, Dr. Kumalo, while they are still alive. Sure. I said, Bernard, you have to plow back to the community. The people must know and see you and feel you. Let's do the book. It was, no, it was first not the book, uh, Rob, yeah. when I approached him. Yeah. He struggled to score. To break the record. To break the record. So I worked on him on that one. Mm. Which and record? Remind us. <clears throat> the all-time goal scorer for Kaiser Chiefs because I'm a life coach, was Rob. Yeah. Mm. That's so, why you, so you're talking about the Max Papunyane 85 goals. Yes, yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I would always remember that from the time I was a yeah. kid. Remember, Max was my all-time hero. Yes. Didn't matter what mm. team he played for. It yes. was just about his way that he carried himself. And yes. I've publicly said that. I've mm. said it to him as mm. well. Mm. But I've just never understood how a lifetime record of 85 goals yes. has not been broken. Yes, but uh, I think Sipiwe Shabalala was the record holder now in yeah. this case. Yes. And Bernard needed out six goals. Um, yes, I needed six goals <coughs> to surpass <coughs> his 58 yes. goals. Yeah. And uh, mm. I gave him a target. Yeah. I said, uh, are, you I, I, are you eager to work on this? Yeah. yeah. Because you can do it. How but close did you get? No, we, we you surpassed it. it. Mm. We surpassed <laughs> it. <all. laughs> By how much? <laughs> Two goals. I yeah. love that. Mm. Yes. I love that. Yes. I, I, I think in, in asking the rhetorical question is that we don't want to assume that everybody follows the history as mm. closely as both of you do. Mm. Yeah. And that's why even when you talked about you being the third highest goal scorer for Bafana Bafana, mm. that in itself mm. talks volumes. You know, yes. you've got a Ben, you've got a Sean, you've got a Bernard mm. tucked in there. Yes. That for me says a lot about what mm. these gentlemen have been able to do. So you worked on them psychologically. Psychologically, yeah. mentally. Yeah. Mm. Sorry, I've got a frog here. No, don't worry, don't <laughs> worry. We, 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 we've got a, someone who sort out frogs here. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Rob. So he was down <laughs> and out that time. He was very down and out, Rob. Ne? Yeah. Is a frog out? <laughs> <laughs> it's a semi. Yeah. It's semi out. <laughs> he was down and out, and I said, no, Bernard, you can do it. Yeah. And we started, I think the, 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 the number one goal he scored was against Sundowns. Mm -hmm. And we had our mental talk visualization mm. and everything. So I drew on a paper, like a teacher. I said, you can kick with both legs of you. Don't forget, God, Rob, I'm coming with 30 years of experience mm. with Ndate Molimela. Yep. We used to read mm. the players. Ndate or player Ayane So you can preempt what they're going yes. to do. Yes. Yeah. So, so I was reading him. So we, we drew this uh, piece of paper. I said, Bernard, you're good with both legs. Yeah. You're good in the air. You can shoot from far. Please be a little bit selfish because you will always give Kamabilia the ball or who, for them to score. And you will celebrate with them. I said, no, 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 stop that. <laughs> Let it be about you. <clears throat> yeah, we need six goals now. <laughs> feed what you can feed them. <laughs> feed what you can feed them. But you must be 90% you. Yeah. yeah. So we went there. Boom, there's the goal. Five left. And I think after that, he couldn't score. I said, hey, man, pressure, pressure. But he will tell you about that. But they were also <laughs> changing his position. So remember big time. That? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 big, big time. time. So big time. that is the price he was paying for being an experienced campaigner All rounder. who is professional. Yes. yes. Tell yeah. me about that challenge that Charlie Peterson put out for you and whether or not you understood his vision. You know, um, Brarop, Mr. Peterson said to me, Bernard, now, what you, what you are facing is more mental than everything. Mm. You've got everything. And you have proven that you've got everything. Now we need to work on your mental part. And then he drew, he drew the, the goal. He said it's going to come from the side. Mm. It's either going to be from the, from the left or from the side. So when you know there's a cross about to come, you're gonna, you must make sure you get into the box. Okay, then it happened. After the game, in the, uh, um, we, you know, we, we do our recoveries, ice baths, whatever. I got yeah. to my phone, 21 missed calls. I call. As I, as I call back, he didn't even say hello. He, they just screamed. They just screamed. Well, <laughs> you know, and he says, that you saw the paper that you drew? Yeah. It's exactly how it happened. And before then, he was telling me, visualize. Mm -hmm. Lay back, relax. Think about the goal. Play it in your mind. Play it in your mind. What you're gonna do? Play it in my play it in your mind. It's gonna be. It's gonna come into existence, and it happened. From there on, you know, I got to understand the power mm. of, of of visualization, Im imagering, you know, uh, a, a psyching yourself up, and I actually got to like it. Yeah. And then from there on, I started to be a positive image also around my teammates. 
started with a positive image at home as well. And I said to myself, why not equip myself with this powerful mm. tool? Mm. And I took on life coaching and sports psychology. Mm. And I'm in my third year. Mm. Studying? Yes. Studying. I'm, is... I'm going for my third year. It's my second year going for my third, third year. year. You know what? The incredible story is told. But the most important thing is that it's read. Mm -hmm. We're not going to divulge too much here, but um, I'm already motivated. I'm motivated because when you go back to that, I go back to my stats because stats never lie. Yes. Yeah. And when you got to your final year at Kaiser Chief, so remember, everyone's calling you an old dopey, mm. hey, you can't run, you mm. can't do this. Yeah. And yet they're rejigging your position. They mm. understanding mm. what the mm. bigger vision is. Mm. And you are clocking 1,919 minutes on the field that season. Yes. Yeah. I mean, I can go back to your time at Kaiser Chiefs when you started and you were clocking 1,983. Mm. So how can you, in your final year at Chiefs, and everybody's calling you that, but be clocking almost the same time as when you started? It is crazy. Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947, Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW. Conquer life's roughest adventures in the new GWMP series. In manual or automatic, it blends power, precision, and persistence, boasting a 360-degree camera, traffic sign recognition, and lane assist. Plus, you're never out of touch with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. The GWMP series pickup range from under 414,000 Rand. Visit gwm.coza for up to 70,000 Rand. Deal assist and more. T's and C's apply. GWMP series. Power, precision, persistence. Ever wondered how a single bet could change your life? Lotto Star invites you to try your luck on over 360 of our thrilling games, such as quick games, live games, real rush games, scratch cards, virtual games, lotteries, and the real jackpot race. You could go from zero to multimillionaire instantly. Bet now on Lotto Star, your world of live games. Lotto Star is licensed by the Impomalanga Economic Regulator. No under 18s. National Responsible Gambling Program. 0800 006 008. T's and C's apply. All games are fixed on betting events. Thank you, South Africa. With your support over these past nine years, we've expanded responsibly, offering 150 flights a day between 14 destinations and being voted best low-cost airline in Africa three times in a row. But above all else, we've kept fares affordable so that you can see the faces and places you love more often. And it's our heartfelt promise to you that we'll continue to fly high while keeping fares low. Fly Safe for the love of flying. When the grid's off, Spurs' legendary grills stay on. So no matter what the load shedding schedule, power up with the quarter chicken and your choice of peri peri, lemon and herb, sweet and spicy, or grill basting. A buffalo thigh coated in our famous turkey sauce, and your choice of either panko crumb chicken strips or vos for just $149.90 each. With Spurs Power Up Combo, there's a flame at the end of the tunnel. Spur, people with a taste for life. T's and C's apply. Some people imagine a lifetime of comfort. Others live it. Thanks to Alliance. Quality residential and commercial air cons at affordable prices with a five-year warranty. Heat pumps for the perfect pool, jacuzzi, and alternative water heating solutions. Our 14 years of proven reliability means quality products at affordable prices. With long-term service, backed by 4 Ways Air. Live a life of comfort. Experience the Alliance difference today. Go to allianceair.co.za. You've reached Harold's Relationship Hotline. Harold, it's my friend Sarah's special day. Oh, happy birthday, Sarah. Actually, it's an anniversary. Happy anniversary, Sarah. The anniversary of her parrot Keith. Happy birth anniversary. Oh, the day that he died. Happy Simper birth anniversary. What can I get her? First off, you can get to the point a bit quicker next time. And then, for Sarah's special day, get to netflorist.ca today and you'll find something special for all occasions. Good, bad or sad. Smoochy smooches. Marawa Sports Worldwide. The haunt. Bernard Parker is a Tears Galaxy. He's here in studio. I mean, at 36 years of age, many will say that he is too old to still be on the football pitch. The decision to part ways with Kaiser Chiefs, was that based on your age or your fitness? You've seen fitter, you've seen more present, yeah. you've seen more active in recent times. Yes. What was it based on? My piece that football is business. I was I was shocked because of my because of my my contribution uh, I gave uh, with 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 the with the 
previous season. It was more of a holistic decision in terms of where, where the club uh, uh, wants to go or their plans yeah. or, or, or their vision. I felt so down because uh, I felt like uh, I'm not, that I'm not going to be part of, you know, I'm not going to be part of the, the vision. Friday weekdays. He cannot give up now, trust me. Good evening, Rob. I uh, just want to thank Bernard Parker for his contribution at Kaiser Chiefs, uh, being a part of the last group that brought uh, smiles uh, to us as supporters uh, in winning those trophies. Uh, and uh, with him having played over 200 uh, uh, games for the club, clearly indicates that uh, Bernard uh, is a true legend, a true servant of the game. And I just want to find out from Bernard Parker, the uh, Hunt, uh, with you having played over 18 years in professional level and the rate in which the game is evolving uh, do you think uh, we as supporters are uh, grasping uh, this evolution that is happening in football uh, because you hear people uh, questioning uh, how uh, coach Rulani is uh, playing and yet uh, we will give credit to uh, Pep Guardiola when we see a uh, John Stones uh, being part of the build-up teams are now moving into uh, a hybrid uh, uh, positions uh, in the game and uh, using different schemes uh, do you think that the game is leaving us behind as supporters and as an aspiring coach what are your views about this uh, evolution that is happening in the game thank you so much indeed yeah 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 mm. yo, yo, mm. Yo, yo. Mm. i saw grown men sweat here in the studio <laughs> <laughs> hey are we being left behind mm. is the game overtaking us are we are ready to praise pep guardiola but then you look at the success of a guy right down the road, Rulani Mkwen, who mm-hmm. himself was saying that the guys don't even watch, supporters don't watch the game, they just look at the score and then have lots to comment about, oh, how Sundowns are playing, ah, they are useless. Mm-hmm. What, what do you make of that? The game's the same. Yeah. The game's the same. It's just, it's, it's attack and defense and in between. It's just within principles, how you work within your principles. And... Also, working within the principles by finding solutions because, mm. you know, we plan for each other. Teams plan for each other. And as you plan for each other, you, you try and find solutions. Mm. And with the solutions um, that, that coaches find, there's a whole lot that goes into it. Yes. There's a whole lot, you know, there's a whole lot of dynamics that goes into it. And also, with, with the dynamics that goes into it, it's also to... to um, Unsettle the opponent as well. Yeah, you know. So um, I've I I am a coach. I am a coach of of of, of uh, uh, obtaining a KFC license. Nice. And um, what we learn uh, uh, at coaching, you know, Rob. I've 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 seen another thing. I know I know football. I've played football. Yes. But what happens with with with, with coaching? Now I know why coaches don't sleep. Coaches don't sleep. Now I understand why the coaches don't sleep. Yeah. And um, the game is not leaving anybody behind. It's just for us to try and keep up with the game. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The pace will always be the same. It will always be the same. I love that because the fans who say to you and said to you again tonight, mm-hmm. when are you going to go back to that arena? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So you use the word finding solutions. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So clearly nobody has found a solution to topple sundowns, mm-hmm. including Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah. So why are they failing? Why is sundown so ahead? Now I'm tapping into Coach Parker. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, um, bro, coaching is also it's also a process. Yeah. And within the process, within the journey, what you believe. You have to believe in your, in 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 what in in in, in the in the vision mm-hmm. in what you to, and to imply, and and we these days we call it the philosophy. Yeah. So, and with that, working within what we all agree to and what we all believe in, we have to make it work. Mm-hmm. We have to make it work. And if things don't go, if things don't go our way. We'll have to try and find other ways how we can make it work. You know, um, there are forms. There are forms of, of, of football, you know. Um, and I'm saying it's a process, you know. We start with our forming phase. And then it will be your, your, your norming phase 
I don't know if I, if I will get it in, uh, in, in particular order. And then you'll have your storming phase. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have your performing phase. And then your last one is your excelling phase. So right now, um, Sundowns is in excelling phase. And at Sundowns? At Sundowns. Mm. And I remember those exact words. When Steve Combella would say them, people thought that he was forming English words mm. because he speaks mm. bombastic English. But he wasn't. He was talking the coaching language. Yeah. In the same way that my formations based on these voice notes is crazy. I don't even know if I have to play a 4 4 2 or a 3 1 0 or Coach Mazibuga formation. I don't know. I'm confused. Good evening, uh, Mr. Mareo. What a legend you got there. I'm not too sure with his fitness level, but I see him playing until he reached 40s to 45 years because he's such a professional player who look after himself very well. As much as he was getting some sticks from the supporters while he was still at Chiefs, but he was remaining my favorite player. Even today, I still follow his progress. Mr. Marawa, I think that guy is a symbol or an example of uh, what a true professional is. I wish him all the best in the future. What I want to know is that after football, what are his plans? Thank you, Mr. Marawa. Hi, Mr. Marawa. You are having a true professional soccer player beyond. I just want to thank him, to congratulate him, uh, to wish him um, all the best in future, even after uh, his playing days are over. You are having a true professional. I hope, <laughs> on a lighter note, Mr. Marawa, <laughs> I hope he teaches his uh, youngsters uh, 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 the difference between the free kick and the direct free kick. I was so disappointed yesterday between Game Yam, yeah, Orlando Pirate, uh, <laughs> United. Anyway, thanks, Mr. Marao, for a good show. Uh, good evening, Robert. Good evening uh, to the want. Wow, what a loyal servant of the game. He, he did wonders for the national team, and he came to my team, Case Chiefs. What a loyal servant. I only have um, one question for Mr. Parker, sir. Is it true that on his contract, especially the last one for Chiefs, it has stipulated that he must play 75% or 90%, so he, he was stating that he must play, just for him to confirm that. But otherwise, um, you are, we were blessed, and I hope he comes back to Chiefs. Congratulations on the book. We are definitely buying the book. Oh man, come back to Chiefs is the war cry that's uh, out there. <laughs> but yeah, very quickly because time is, is quickly swallowing all of us here. Mm. Uh, the, the issue about playing a certain percentage of games, or what, 75% mm. I think is what he said. Yeah, is that true. what your contract not, stipulated? Not true. At all? No, that's Where not did true people get that from? I don't know. A lot, of, a lot of things going around in the media, you know, what, what's put in the media, you know, people... people tend to believe these gossip publications mm. probably yeah okay. so okay mm -hmm. i understand no say nothing further uh small was just saying that you're going to be playing into your 40s yes i've i found a i found a, a happy home huh yeah i found a real happy galaxy home. oh rob i'm having the time of my life yeah Tears well i can galaxy, see it yeah, yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm even glowing you see i'm even glowing yeah oh, i thought you had skin products <laughs> but <I> was, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's it's such a such a such a humble uh, uh, a family. I would say small family yeah. because we 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 all so close to each other, and um, it shows it shows uh, on the field. You know, players improve, mm -hmm. players improve. Um, everyone in the club improves, and it shows that that uh, it shows the the improvement because. We have we have sold a couple mm -hmm. of a couple of top players that that uh, a year ago they were, they weren't even considered. Yeah. A year later, they, they they top players. So it's it 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 just shows you the 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 power within the family mm -hmm. of how of how we we thrive to to better ourselves. And um, I think from here on, if you can continue like that. Mm -hmm. The, the future is bright. You see, I, I just love the, the positive energy, mm. the positive mindset, and the, and the workmanship. Yeah, the workmanship mm. is unbelievable. But I think you play a big role in mm -hmm. terms of that. I mean, a certain kinds of Chiefs defender now was a certain TS Galaxy player then. Yeah. Sat right here with Charlie Peterson sitting. Mm -hmm. And he was telling us how enamored he is and was about you and your presence at TS Galaxy that he had yeah. never seen a professional like that. But we'll park that because... 
you know, Number that, 25. that is you. That is you. Yeah. That is you. That, that is what you do. Charlie mm-hmm. Peterson, from your side, people have been asking, where can they get this book? Rob, thank you so much. Uh, it's available. There's a website, the Bernard Parker website. They can mm-hmm. order from the website. And we are busy negotiating with uh, bookstores in all nine provinces okay. to have it there because we're not going to your exclusive books, Rob. Yeah. Uh, and others can order. People are already ordering from us, yeah. you know, uh, from Bennett and myself, mm-hmm. from the website and everything. So it's available, Rob. What is the website? Help me... This man is is used to PO Box 943. (laughs) 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 His website stories, he doesn't know. Uh, The website is triple W. (laughs) It's uh, Bernard-Parker.com. You know, everything is on the website, yeah. you know. Mm. Um, also, if you also want to buy tickets to towards the launch, you can get your tickets from Ticket, Ticket Pro. Pro. Nice. And uh, we're, doing, we're doing this for the Burnett Parker Foundation because mm. there's a big vision, there's a big, there's, there's big things coming. Mm. And um, we just, we just want to get the book as far as we can, mm. you yeah. know, as yeah. far as we can. I'm talking, when I'm talking about far, I'm talking about way, way, way in the rural areas sure. where mm. that little boy child and, mm. and, and girl child don't have any hope of becoming mm. somewhere or getting somewhere. That is the inspiration. That yes. is the inspiration, yes. you yeah. know. That I, is, I think sometimes mm. we need to swap Jan van Riebeck books for books like yours. Yes, yes I believe yes. that. Because if we can uh, get yeah. it into libraries, you know, it, it would be great, you know. Uh, we just did uh, a great thing as well uh, in Dialmas uh, yeah. uh, a few weeks ago where we went to go, uh, we went to donate books uh, in, in a library in Dialmas. So if we can do more, you know, one of our own here at home, yes. you know, uh, um, if, if they can read about, about, your, about uh, your, 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 own, your own or your South African, yeah. it, it gives more hope mm. than, than the child reading a, a book about uh, uh, players in Europe or, or somebody in America. People just claiming you things know. that they, they don't even know. You and, know. And the reason why you say you say that, and, and I'm coming in here because one individual on Twitter right now says that they've been inspired by one statistic mm-hmm. that came through from Opta Joe, and this was posted a while back, saying that Bernard Parker is the only Kaiser Chiefs player to score a hat-trick mm. in the first league match played immediately after his wedding. Like August 2012. Like Jomo Sono. <laughs> first, and is the only Kaiser Chiefs player to score a hat-trick in his first league match played immediately after his wedding. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, I say no more. All I'm saying mm-hmm. is that when you talk about inspiration, it's, it's, crazy, it's, yeah. it's those memories. Yes. Mm. It's, it's those memories. And yes. yeah. I mean, the Netflixes of this world uh, are probably chomping at the bit now, listening and saying, how can they inspire greatness, greater? Mm. You know, we're also tired of politicians promising us that they'll build a soccer field and then they just go draw a piece of chalk on the ground and cost $58 million. We don't mm. want that. We want real things. Charlie yeah. Peterson, Rob, you wrap it up, man. Your 30 seconds in terms of just everything and where you want yeah. it to land. Rob, thank you so much. You know... Uh, the Bernard Parker book, you know, was also a journey for myself. You know, I've written Tate Mulemela's book, yes. Another Legend. Bernard Parker, Another Legend. I'm busy now with Tate Lucas Masterpieces Moripe's book. Beautiful. It's coming. But this one is amazing because it's ca- it caters for everyone, Rob. Yeah. From the little child that needs to know what is a contract, mm-hmm. yeah. what is a professional team, what is manners, what is respect. Yeah. Also, we touch on bullying, we touch on gender-based violence, we touch on a lot of things, Rob. Yeah. It's not all about soccer, mm-hmm. but it's also for some, for people to realize, you know, what the likes of Dr. Kumala was saying about Bernard Parker, the mm-hmm. likes of uh, Kevin Hunt, you know, yeah. hardcore guys. That Including Benny McCarthy. Hey, yeah, Benny's one is Including amazing Benny. because Benny said, you know, because of... I didn't want to touch it, but okay. I want people yeah, yeah, to read yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Your, your, thank your you, final 30 seconds. You know, Charlie, Charlie should have been a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> Put him on, you know, 947 midnight slot. Um, your final thoughts. <laughs> uh, yeah, yes, bro, Rob, thank you so much. Um, this is season number 20. Yo. This is my 20th season, and what a way to start my season with uh, Men of the Mesh performance, mm. you know. Yeah. And yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> love it, love yeah, it, love yeah. it. So, um, um, I've, 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 I just want to I just wanna uh, uh, show, show everybody out there, you know, that, that I am the modern professional. Mm. I'm the living modern professional, and I'd like to 
um, share uh, as much as I can to them uh, as well. And uh, Bernard Parker is doing a lot, you know. Uh, um, I do motivational speaking. Um, if we go to your website, basically. Yeah, mm. yeah. Everything is on the website. Okay, let's so, test uh, Charlie Peterson mm -hmm. quickly. We're out of time. Charlie, what's mm -hmm. the website again? But, uh, <laughs> but the back. <laughs> <laughs> back. <laughs> See you again tomorrow. Thanks, Bennett. <laughs> Marawa Sports Worldwide Live. In three, two, one. On 947. Vuma FM, Rise FM, and Soweto Live. Hashtag MSW.